Teaching virtually is a challenge, no matter what subject you are teaching. But those of you who may be used to structuring your lessons as more of a demonstrating how to solve problems on the white or blackboard may be finding this uh, change to online learning even harder than most. It's difficult to solve problems face to face in front of your students when you're not face to face, when all you have is a webcam. I mean, what do you do? Do you write it down and each step show your class your notes? It can feel really difficult and really strange to have to teach when you can't use the main thing you usually use to teach. But in this video, which is part of our Teaching Virtually, How to Recreate That Interactive Classroom Experience Online series, I'm going to show you a really easy way of showing your working to your class without any fancy equipment. Well, I say without any fancy equipment, you do need a camera frame. So basically what this hinges on, what this trick hinges on is the fact that in Zoom or Microsoft Teams or really any other platform, you can join the meeting, your, your live class, as many times as you want. You don't, you're not limited to just one camera. What you can do is you can get your phone and join it on your phone. So what I've done is I've sent myself a link and I've joined it. Now I need to go to the participants list and admit myself. Now, when I admit myself, we notice that I come up here. Now I am deliberately going to choose, I'll put a screenshot uh, of my uh, uh, screen here. You can see uh, it says to hear others, please join audio. Now I definitely don't want to join audio because that gets this weird sort of back and forth, um, strange echoing effect. Now, let's make it so that we can see both of me. Great. So this is not a second view for, you know, maybe your more aesthetic side. What this is for uh, is for you to show off your, to your students the work you're doing because your phone, you can prop up and you can have it pointed at your notebook. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I need to make sure that my screen rotation is off. And then I need to rotate my screen so that it is landscape. This is actually a very important step that if you forget, we'll end up with your video being sideways. Now you need to change your screen around so that instead of being um, sort of looking at me, it's looking down at my thing. Now you may have noticed this stack of books beside me. This stack of books is here for me to put my phone on. So I put my phone right here, straighten that up a little bit and you can see, there we go. Now I can solve problems easy as pie. Uh, say I'm teaching an you know, introductory algebra class, I can say, okay, well, we have x plus 7 equals 10. Okay. And then you can very easily do the you know, rearranging and you can uh, specifically point to things as you say it, something that is really useful. Uh, and if people have any questions, uh, I'm not contained to just looking at this. I can see any questions that pop up, say someone types in the chat, they're having issues, it will come up on my screen. And so I can interact with students in real time while also solving the problem. So you can see here, here is the setup that I have and you can see that it's not particularly uh, sophisticated or anything. Uh, the cat is not necessary but is very desirable. So there you have it. You can see that it's not a particularly difficult trick to use. Um, it's pretty simple uh, and is pretty easy to set up. So thank you very much for watching. If you found this useful, check out the other videos in our Teaching Virtually series, or maybe head to our website and check out the free resources that we have available, as well as the virtual planetarium shows and workshops that we are currently running.